Hello students. Today we having a English class. Uh, in your textbook, come to your page number twenty. Lesson number one point seven. Paramvir Chakra are heroes. Okay, student. I hope so. All of them are there on page number twenty. Lesson number one point seven. And name of the lesson is Paramvir Chakra. See, student has the name suggests Paramvir Chakra. Okay, so why you get this? See, they have shown in the picture also how it is. Now, I'll explain the lesson. You may have heard about legendary heroes. Now, legendary means what? Very famous heroes of the past and the extraordinary. Extraordinary means what? Very special. act of bravery but even today many soldiers of our country sacrifice their own lives for the safety so you know today also many soldiers who have sacrificed their life uh, life for the safety just to protect us they have sacrificed their life their brave deeds are honored by bestowing military decorations on them military means what a soldier of all armed forces and a certain after sacrificing their life they have been honored paramvir chakra is india's highest military decoration it is awarded for the most cospish cospicious cospicious means what for outstanding work what they have done bravery or some daring or preeminent act of warrior preeminent have to for the outstanding act or self sacrifice in the presence of the army enemy so who has killed the enemy have sacrificed their life whether on land it can be on land fighting on the land at the sea it can be soldiers fighting at the sea also or in the air The Paramvir Chakra is a very rare honor. So far, it has been awarded only twenty-one times. Fourteen of them awards were given posthumously. Posthumously means what? After person's death, that award has been given. Now, see students on your left hand side. That medal is there. I am explaining that part. the medal itself is a very simple in appearance it is made up of br brown so bronze is one type of metal it is made up of bronze and is fitted with civil mounting and has a plain purple ribbon so it has got a ribbon also how you get medals during your sports you may be seen has got a ribbon also on the observe it has the indian national emblem our symbol our national emblem symbol is there on the on this medal at the center surrounded by four replicas of india's vajra on the reverse the word param vir chakra are engraved engraved in hindi it is written in hindi also on the other side and english with two lotus flowers in between and what is there on the medal that two lotus flowers in between the paramvir chakra medal was designed by savitri bai khanolkar she was a european lady who married vikram khanolkar so she was married to a person by the name of vikram khanolkar an indian army officer even he was a indian army officer savitri bai loved india and took indian citizenship what you mean by indian citizenship those who are staying in the country of india they are known as the indian citizenship she spoke marathi sanskrit hindi fluently and had studied indian arts and tradition in depth okay now come i will explain on your right hand side come india's vajra or thunderbolt thunderbolt means what a flash of lightning with a clap of thunder that strikes at something it's supposed to be a matchless weapon but 
what makes this weapon invinc invincible is the supreme sacrifice of the sage Dadachiya. So sage means what? Like a sadhu. And his name was what? His name was Dadachi. According to legend, legend means according to the story, thousands of years ago a demon, a demon means what? A rakshas had stolen all the water in the world. So this is just a story. This demon had stolen all the water. Innocent people were suffering and dying without water. And you know how water is very important. So innocent people were suffering because there were no water to drink. The demon could not be defeated by any ordinary weapon. So this Rakshas was not able was not defeated by any ordinary weapon. Ordinary means by any simple weapon made of ordinary material like wood, metal, etc. Something extraordinary was required. It was learned that the sage Dadachi had bones of such extraordinary power. So this sadhu had bones which were of extraordinary power. But how could one ask for the bones of a living man? So it is not possible to ask for the bones of a living man. Sage Dadachi was a noble person. He was a very good man, kind man. He himself laid down his life and gave his own bones to help the people. So he sacrificed his life and he gave his bones. Why he gave his bones? So that people will be protected and that that rakshas will be killed and people will get water to drink. Indra's Vajra or Indra's weapon of thunderbolts was fashioned from these bones and the demon was defeated. Just as the Indra Vajra derived power from Sage Dadachi bones, the Indian military derives its strength and power from the sacrifice of the bravest of the brave. So our Indian military who gets power because of the sacrifice of the of this brave of these people who have done the Paramvir Chakra holders. Okay. Now come to your page number twenty-one. Now see, dear, there is another story of another um, military person. Okay, so see, the, the, uh, listen to the story now. On the 14th of December 1971, Srinagar, you know where is Srinagar, it is at Kashmir. Airfield was attacked, Srinagar airfield was attacked by wave of six enemy Sabri aircraft. So you know aircraft is a flying object. So this Sabri aircraft had attacked Srinagar airfield. Flying officer Nirmal Jit, see is there shown in the picture also. Nirmal Jit Singh Sikon was on readiness duty. He was almost ready for this duty at that time. He could not take off immediately because of clouds of dust raised by another aircraft. So it was not it was not possible for his aircraft to fly because the it atmosphere was very cloudy. By the time the runway was clear, runway you know how the aircraft takes the speed when is when the aircraft is moving. The enemy craft aircraft was overhead. They were flying low, firing and attacking the airfield with bombs. So enemy's plane aircraft was attacking. Even then, flying officer Sikon took off in his Gannett fighter. So he took. He went over here and he took his fighter, Gannett fighter, that is name of his aircraft, Gannett fighter. The movement he could, he began to combat the powerful Sabri jet aircraft of the enemy. So he started attacking the enemy's aircraft. He damaged two of them, so two aircraft was damaged by him. His fight with the attacking aircraft now continued at a tree, tree top height. So they were, they were continuous fight. At last, the enemy's aircraft flight from the scene of the battle. So it was destroyed. The airfield and then town of Srinagar were saved. But alas, flying officer Sikon's aircraft to crash and he was killed. So this Sikon, which aircraft he was 
he was riding or driving even his aircraft got destroyed but the place Srinagar was saved flying officer Sikon displayed great fly, flying skills and determi and determination determination means what his firmness his purpose what was his purpose of destroying the enemy's aircraft in the face of certain death he showed unmatched heroism above and beyond the call of duty salute to the bravest of the brave flying officer nirmal jit singh sikon so he did a good act and because of this act he was awarded the paramvir chakra so students hope so you have understood the lesson i will send you the worksheet try to do the worksheet thank you